Okay, with Holistic Travel Guy here. Uh, still at the National Museum of American History, part of the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. And I was wrong about uh, there being nine exhibitions here. There are actually dozens and dozens. And this exhibition is the uh, memorial for the um, troops at D-Day the landing, the allied landing of troops on the beaches of Normandy in France. And according to U.S. Army Chaplain John G. Burkhalter in 1944, danger was everywhere. Death was not far off. And there's some pictures of the troops landing on the beaches of Normandy. Here's a memorial to them. D-Day was on June 6th in 1944, and the exact number of American, British, and Canadian soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines who were killed on June 6th is unknown, but anywhere from 2,500 to 5,000 died that day. And the exhibit continues over here on the left with a much more in-depth look in the Kenneth E. Baring Hall of Military History. There's a much more in-depth exhibition over here. And here is a sign that commemorates the 75th anniversary of the landing of troops in Normandy, France on that day, June 6th. And there's also a film in 3D that commemorates and depicts the uh, troops landing on the beach. There are the men and women who fought during that battle, the airmen, the army, the infantry, and here is the price of freedom, Americans at war. And this exhibit, like I said, is very extensive, just through these doors. One of the many free exhibits here at the National Museum of American History. So that's a little bit more in depth in there. If you want to come and check out these exhibits, they're open seven days a week, including weekends and holidays. And the admission is free. There's no charge to go to most of the museums of, um, that are surrounding the National Mall, the big huge park in the center of Washington, D.C. There's no charge for most of these exhibits, most of these museums. So we'll see you down the beach at uh, the next exhibit.